Alice's Garden. Alice's Garden, a two-acre parcel located in the center city, is a tribute to decades of keeping one of Milwaukee's proudest African-American neighborhoods active and healthy. In the early 70s, thousands of houses in the Lindsay Heights neighborhood were torn down to make room for a freeway that was never built. The resulting gap was a recipe for trouble. But in 1980, Alice Mead Taylor, the executive director of Milwaukee County Extension, created Alice's Garden. Alice's Garden is now the life force for 91 local families, representing nearly every ethnic, economic, and age group. They not only gather to grow organic food, they also participate in the myriad of projects and classes offered at the gardens. The Family Garden Program teaches how to grow and cook healthy food alternatives, as well as how to keep fresh foods in tightening budgets. The Garden Mosaics Teen Earn and Learn Program hires 10 to 20 teens each summer to show how turning soil can break down any cultural barrier. The Health Rocks Day Camp is a nationally sponsored 4-H program designed to keep preteens off of drugs. And the yoga in the garden classes provide the perfect environment to simply chill out. And now the Center for Resilient Cities is working with community partners to renovate Alice's Garden. More than $400,000 has been raised through charitable donations to expand and upgrade the gardens. The centerpiece of this project is the Central Pavilion, which was completed late last summer. The restoration that has already taken place is just the beginning for this project. A labyrinth will be going in this spring and a welling wall and a wall of joy so that this garden project is about more than just gardening. It's about restoration and reconciliation, hope um, that many partners have for this neighborhood, not just in restoring the land, but within the neighborhood and the families in that neighborhood. 30 years after the first shovel was turned, Alice's Garden is now a Milwaukee institution that will reap benefits for decades to come.